channel. So today's video is brought to you again by Hair So Fly. So, so the wig I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys is um, another Bobby Boss wig, and this is not like a super like new wig, but it's not it's not really old either. I think it came out earlier this year, um, and this is in the style MBLF 190 Carmella, and I have Carmella in the color TT1B slash 3033. So this can it has choose your own parting, so you can wear it as a center part. A left side part and a right side part um, it is a human hair blend wig and it has 13 by 4 hand tight Swiss lace and it's ear to ear it has a ear to ear natural hairline um, and free parting all right so here is Carmela here she is super long and glamorous she has these kind of loose barrel curls in her um, this is what the lace looks like untweezed that's what the lace color looks like it looks like it's a, a brown lace color and you have your 13 by 4 area of parting space there you have a comb on the right and left side a comb in the back and adjustable straps so I think I tried this color with Kylie so I was like this is definitely like I will wear pretty much any color all year round, but the brownish color is like fall ready. Um, even though it's still, it's gonna be hot in South Carolina until probably mid October, but I think this is a really nice fall color. And by just looking at the, at the luster, it's a very nice luster. This feels like a yakky texture. Um, so it's not really shiny at all. Some people, well, most people that watch my channel, they like that, but some people do like their wigs to have shine to it because it makes it look like healthy hair. But with synthetic wigs, I think when they do shine, it just looks like it's doll hair. But this one is a yakky texture, so to me, that's just gonna look more natural on me. So I tried this wig on already, and I have to say it's a very comfortable cap. I wouldn't say it's like, really big head friendly but it's um it's a little bit more comfortable than an average cap so it's not super big head friendly but it's not but it's not too small either it's like the perfect fit for my head and i consider my head to be large so this is what carmella looks like fresh out the pack and when i tried her own i was like she is kind of sexy so um, I'm six feet tall and this is where she falls on me she is long um, I believe she's about 22 inches she's long but she's not like insanely full but she's not thin either so this is what she looks like oh with this hairline you do give you do get a lot more room to customize it how you want it to look um so let's see what it looks like as a middle part and i have on a light brown wig cap So this is what she looks like as a middle part. And you can see that wig cap through there. Long wigs and lip gloss just, they don't mix. Okay, so let's do a right part. Okay, so here is the right part. If you wear it as, you know, a right part, well, I do got some tangling right here already. But to me, when I wear my wigs, I, and I know it's gonna be this long I prepare myself in my mind it's synthetic hair it's gonna tangle so um yeah this is already you know tangling up in the bang area well I like the way this side part looks though I think I'm probably gonna wear it as a side part and then for the left side part girls I 
Okay, so here's the left side part. So you can make that work over there. Or, of course, you can, you can do just like a flip over look. But I really like the way the side part look was. So I think I'm going to work with it that way. And the wig grip that I'm putting on is like a, it's a generic brand. I usually use the Jex brand and I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase it. Even if a wig is like more fitted to my head, I still wear wig grips because they just keep them in place. Now I prefer like the lighter, more, the color that's close to my complexion, but this one will work just fine. guys so I'm back and I have finished styling Carmela and just right off the bat before I tell you the pros and cons I really really like this wig um, before so this is my process usually when I'm doing my reviews I 
you know, I tell you guys about the wig, I style it, and then I take pictures before I come back and talk to you guys about the wig. And I do that because when I take pictures in front of uh, a window, that's going to tell me if the wig is a winner or not. So I took a lot of pictures and all of them looked really good. I was like, wow, I'm, it's the color, it's the style. Um, it's the volume that I added to it with the hairspray, the layer that I added, and this lace looks really good um, because I tweezed it and I put some more time into it. This wig can be for beginners, but it can also be for people that are more, this is also a really good wig for people that are more advanced with their wigs. Like for me, um, a lot of times with my wigs, even you know 13 by 4s like this, I'll just wear them with the straight part and powder in the part and not fool around with the hairline. You can do that and it'll look, you know, it'll still look natural. But they gave us all this lace and area to tweeze and customize, so that's what I did. So it did take me a lot longer than it normally takes with the wigs that I that I review. This took me a while, probably like 30 to 45 minutes, and that included me tying it down and like washing dishes and stuff while it was while my uh, lace and everything was, you know, melting or whatever. Yeah, it did take a lot longer, but the result is very, very beautiful. Um, I initially had like a bigger baby hair swoop right here, but when I took my little scarf off, which is just like a belt from an old kimono that I don't have anymore. Yeah, I had a huge baby hair in the front that was a big swoop, and when I took my scarf off, I wasn't feeling it. So I toned it down and I think the hairline looks really, really good. It com in comparison to Bobby Boss Kylie, Kylie um, has the same color and it's kind of the same vibe with the, you know, side part with barrel curls. You know, it's similar, but they are not the same and I'll tell you guys why. First of all, this one is 13 by 4 so you have more versatility. Um, you can shift your part on Kylie, but I just think it looks more natural because you have more area on the hairline to you know make it look more like a frontal and I do feel like this looks like a frontal and I'll insert pictures at the end of what it looks like in natural light and stuff and it'll probably be in the thumbnail so the texture on Kylie is more of a blown out kind of texture it's a thicker yakky texture this is a light yakky um, so if you guys prefer either one um, I really like this one a lot more than Kylie, um, mainly because of the hairline and then it's a... I actually like both of the textures, but I just like this one overall more. This one is longer than Kylie and it just has more versatility. So if you're kind of... I wanted to compare them because they had the same color in a similar style. So um, this is 13 by 4 so I think this one is probably going to be more expensive because you do have more customizing options more customizing options with this one um, again the cap size on this one is like medium to a little bit on the bigger side so it's very very comfortable on my big head but I'm not gonna say I'm swimming in it so it's medium to a little bit on the the bigger side I'm shedding before I cut the lace but it wasn't that much but what I have experienced with this wig is tangling but um I think it's so pretty I'm not gonna really care that much I'm definitely gonna be wearing this out I just think this is so pretty and I decided to I was watching saw life and I just saw her add you know some hairspray to her this week she was this week she was reviewing and it just just made it so much more fluffy so I just added some some hairspray to mine to give it some volume and I just think this wig is very very sexy um, I think it will look beautiful as a middle part as well but I want it to you know wear it as a side part oh, on this side it's kind of thin up here I can I can feel like the the bumps from the cap or the tracks right here but I don't believe anybody's gonna see that but it is a little bit thin right here for some reason. That's a con and the tangling is a con, but overall this is really, really beautiful and I think it's a really nice pickup. My overall rating for this wig is a 
I'm gonna say a nine and a half. I really, really like this wig. Um, I think it's beautiful. So if you want some glamorous hair, and it's not like too, it's even though I gave it some more volume, it's not like too full. It's like nice and sleek at the top, and then you get more volume. If you are interested in Carmella, head over to Hair So Fly and pick it up there. Shout out to Hair So Fly for sponsoring another video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about her. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I have a ton of videos coming for you guys. Um, so make sure your notifications are on. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.